Back here at home, we do have a lot to track regarding the forecast. Uh, a weather alert in place today. That's exactly right, because we are tracking the potential for tornadoes, damaging wind gusts to 60 miles an hour, and even large hail up to the size of quarters across the area. So the Storm Prediction Center, with their update overnight, has extended that enhanced risk down into parts of North Texas. And when we see this hatching here, that's a significant risk. So especially along the Red River, we are really going to be watching for that potential of isolated tornadoes as we go through the day today into the late afternoon and evening hours. But you'll notice that we have the elevated risk of hail up to the size of quarters and then winds an enhanced risk, especially off to the northeast and then even that elevated risk across DFW. So this is a day that we really want you to be weather aware and make sure you have multiple ways to get those watches and warnings delivered to you. We will be here all day tracking the storms for you so you can always join us on the stream. We'll be watching it for you. So here's first alert future cast. This is a different model than I just showed a couple of minutes ago. I just wanted to show you the slight differences in timing and intensity that we're looking at. So through the mid morning hours, in agreement that we'll have those scattered showers out ahead of the line. Then we are looking at those thunderstorms picking up in coverage through the Metroplex from about 11 a.m. to about 5 o'clock right through I-35 and then tracking over into East Texas. But as that cold front moves through, we'll still be tracking potentially a second line of thunderstorms through DFW for the evening drive. And then later this evening, about 5 to 10 p.m., we're still going to have those thunderstorms in East Texas. There's a lot of instability for them to work with, so it could be a pretty long night for them. And this model is keeping the rain around a bit longer on our election day, so we might wake up to some scattered showers tomorrow morning before we dry out in the afternoon, but it will be noticeably cooler. And we are going to see some pretty hefty rainfall totals, especially where we get a couple of those thunderstorms in the same spots. Could pick up a quick two to three inches of rain, and that could lead to some localized flooding. As you're preparing for your morning, it's quiet right now. The rain indeed DFW will pick up closer to about 11 a.m., but you'll notice it's already very active into Oklahoma, around Oklahoma City. They've already had tornado warnings this morning. Temperatures are starting off in the mid-70s right now. We're actually going to see some rain-cooled air as the kids are heading home, and they're going to want that rain gear as well because we will be tracking the thunderstorms in the area. But your first alert seven-day forecast showing cooler for tomorrow. Still a windy day and then seasonal temperatures the rest of the week, but more rain on the way, especially as we head into Thursday and Friday. All right, Brittany, we certainly appreciate the heads up. Thank you so much.